What's up guys? Listen, Trap Body Hacks by Smashworks. Yeah, this will change the name up a little bit, right? Because I grew this giant company, so hey, we gotta talk about the company. So today we're gonna be talking about wrist health. Very straightforward, I'm gonna give you three basic drills to fix these wrists. A lot of wrist is issues are because of the shoulders. So the deal with that is, is that people tend to really concentrate, like smash the hell out of the forearms, do wrist extensions, wrist flexion, wrist extension, you know, all this weird stuff with this ball that spins in your hand and all this stuff. Listen, put all that away, get rid of all the bullshit, you know, eight little bones on the wrist, they're not gonna take a lot of abuse. You need to fix the entire chain so the wrist works properly. One of my friends, uh, actually two really good friends, fighters, uh, Gaston Boyanos, the dream killer, and um, Kevin Ross, soul assassin, these guys, they punch and kick for a living. But I'm gonna tell you, when they punch, they have a very stable wrist. That wrist makes a dead straight line, but it's because it's become reflexive to stabilize that wrist when they're going in for a punch or when they're blocking, they're checking or anything like that that's really important. Now, most people that aren't fighters don't have that reflexive ability, so we need to make sure the wrists are really strong because carpal tunnel, shoulder health, elbow problems, they are, they're all married together. So I'm gonna show you three drills to stabilize the wrist by stabilizing the shoulder. They're not what you think they're gonna be, but they're super awesome. First thing we wanna do is we wanna regain extension. So what happens is the wrist bones tend to really collapse and flatten out. They form that carpal tunnel, they start to flatten and collapse two rows of four bones, right? The problem is we lose a lot of wrist extension, so we wanna recover that. So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to do that. We've seen this a bunch of times. I've done this so many damn times. You guys have seen this, but you know what? I wanna show you again. Why? Because I love you. So we take a heavy band, get into the heavy band. This is very redundant because we've seen it a million times by a million different people that are posting this. Guess what? Repetition is the mother of skill, man, Anthony Robbins. So we take the band, put it right over the crease of the wrist, load up the band, and then we're gonna plant our hand, fan the fingers apart, get your other hand over top, and then just pull it all the way over. So I want the heel of the hand to be glued to the, to the floor, I was gonna say table, and then I want you to just kind of hunt and move around real gently, you don't have to get aggressive, just make sure the band is loaded this way, and then just kind of find those spots, two minutes worth of work, that is number one. Now we work on stabilizing the wrist. This is where the fun stuff begins. So we take, we're gonna be using two things, a barbell and a kettlebell. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna do these unilateral because we wanna affect, unilateral means one, one side at a time. We wanna make sure that we affect both sides independent of one another. So this is just a 15. Trust me, it's gonna be harder than you think. It's gonna go across the back side of the wrist. You're gonna grip it as hard as you can and you're gonna hold your hand up like this. Now what's gonna to wanna to happen, watch what the kettlebell does, is it's gonna to wanna to do this. It's gonna to wanna to dump forward because we're losing that rotational stability. So that, see, now you're getting it. So we come all the way up, hang out in this position, two minutes, when you're done, switch to the other side, see how unstable that is, it wants to wobble around. And this is just a 15. If you're having a problem with this resting on your wrist, you know, just throw on a set of wrist wraps because you wanna do this. This is actually working on holding external rotation stable in the shoulder and keeping that wrist stable at the same time. Trust me, this will generate some fire. That is number two, I guess number one for the strength drill. Now, here's the fun one. You can see the barbell on my wall in the background in front of the flag. What we wanna do is we wanna take the barbell, grab it in the middle, load it up. You do this so I don't smash into anything. I need to put it on the other wall, but hey. So we grab the barbell, this is gonna be stable, okay? Or unstable, rather. We grab the barbell, do a press, and then come back down without the barbell spinning around all over the place. Press, all the way locked out, and then all the way back down. It doesn't seem like much. Trust me, 45 pound barbell, do three sets of 10, ugh, it's gonna be terrible. So that is number two. You do those two drills, I promise you this, you're gonna have wrists of steel. Hey listen, I'm Travis Smashworks, coming at you on a Tuesday. I love you guys, I'll check you guys out tomorrow.